Hey, what's going on, homies? It's your boy, Camber God, back up in this thing. Got the 79 Caprice back here, locked up. Y'all know what it is, so check it out, boys. Today, we're gonna be getting down on a little bit of some chain work, you know what I mean? Got like grade 70 USA transport chain, 3 8 Got some half inch grade eight bolts. Y'all know what it is. Some two by two quarter inch wall uh square tubing so basically as you can see down here the lower control arms they've already rocking the two by two square tubing so we're basically just going to make another chain mount basically like right here on the frame you feel me so we're going to have to do a little bit of some grinding or actually i'm just probably going to like wire wheel the paint off and get that thing welded up on there easy money or at least it should be uh gonna have to drill out our other two by two pieces to accept our half inch bolt but other than that basically just set it up get it welded you know what i mean and after we get it welded in there i'm gonna hit it with a little bit of black paint just to spice it up but basically i'm gonna put it slightly off a of lock so i'm gonna see if i can achieve that you know see how it's looking see if i can just barely like See, low key, I feel like that was too much. Yeah, see, that's way too much. See, that's not gonna cut it. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it less off lock. Damn, it keeps on dropping too much. I might even have to open the trunk up and, uh, you know what I mean, set it slightly less. See right there we're on lock hard. See I feel like even that was too much. You know what I mean? I would like just like a little finger gap. You know and that's clearly a loose finger. So I'm going to go ahead and close my slow down a little bit. You know just so we can get it in a good position. But I'm going to go ahead and mock up the chain. See if we need to cut any links off. Because it's going to be roughly around here. You know. And then uh. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel the frame, wire wheel our pieces up, make sure they look nice, you know, and uh, set up the welder and get to burning them in, baby. Okay, homeboys, check it out. Had to cut a link off of each chain. So basically, hopefully you guys could see, I got this part of the frame cleaned up. Down here, we got our chain set up. So basically, it's gonna come in here like so. And it's gonna get welded right about there, players. You know what I mean? Just pull tight and weld it. You know what I mean? Just send it. So basically, how I went about this, obviously I drilled the hole here. Um, it already had the lowers, as I stated before. I measured the car, right? So like here, I can show you. We are just slightly off of a lock. You know what I mean? Like I could put a finger in there which is kind of scary to do, but I have trust in these check valves and seals or whatever. But I went ahead and I took a measuring tape, measured from the fender line down. Both the tires are at 70 PSI exactly, so it should be pretty legit. Um, it measured exactly three foot from the end of the fender down to the floor on both sides. So we're basically ready. You know what I mean? I, I went ahead and cleaned up the metal, wire wheeled it all, all crazy. I and mean, as you could see, you know what I mean? So basically all we got left, just go ahead, I'll mock this one up for y'all too. Make sure the chain is oriented the correct way. See, it's basically just gonna go like that, you feel me? Something like that anyways. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna put it in there. I'll probably have to uh, clean the paint up a little bit more. But honestly, right there, it'd be straight. Like I said, we are going to hit it with some more paint. Um, so I'm going to weld these, tack them in first, you know, and then I'll go ahead and remove the chain, burn them in solid, and we should be good. After that, let them cool down, hit them with some paint, reinstall the chains, boys, and we should be golden. But that's basically how I'm doing it. Uh, this side, you can see it's got the lower mount already. So the chains, I got a foot 
of chain and I had to take a link off so you know roughly like 10 inches or so but uh, yeah I mean as you can see we're off lock this side hits lock a little different but it is definitely off of lock so I mean right here we're not even maxing the ball joint or nothing so that's gonna be my new lockup basically which ain't too shabby I feel um, let me go ahead like I said I'm gonna set the welder up uh, probably hit this with a little tiny bit more wire wheel and she should be solid to go baby let me get on it all right perros so it's getting kind of dark out you know what i mean um so i got the light you feel me but here it is they're burned in you can see beaded there beaded there there's another bead over on this side too kind of hard to see i didn't weld the bottom just for the fact that i don't think there's going to be really any pressure there um, so I try to clean it up a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and, uh, hit it with some paint, but basically there it is. Hit it with some paint and then, uh, probably let it dry like overnight or whatever. And then tomorrow we'll hook the chains back up and just let it looks real firme, you know? So coming over here, you can see the other side, pretty much the same deal. Go ahead and zoom it for you, you know what I mean? Look at that. So yeah, you know, we just laid like three beads on it. Um, this is only with 110, being that it's outside of my garage, but we made do, you know what I mean? Did the damn thing or whatever. And uh, we should be able to paint this section of the frame too, right there where the control arm has been rocking because it shouldn't rock anymore. Um, but yeah, it came out pretty firme so far. I think once we get a little bit of paint on it, it should be even better. Um, so hopefully this works out as intended. But so far it's looking pretty player. Uh, I'm going to let them cool down just a little bit. And then I'm going to hit them with that paint. And uh, after that I'll bring you guys back tomorrow. So that we can hook the chains back up and get her juking baby. Yeet. Alright pimp players. Oh. Check me out, check me out. There it is. Got it all nice and painted up. Real firme like. Go ahead and getting ready to feed the chain into it now. Looks hella clean though. Let me back it up for you. Oh, can't see nothing now, can you? There you have it. Um, so the paint I have is a lot more like glossy than the original paint that they used uh the previous owner said it was like undercoated or something i don't really know but i mean there it is though you know what i mean looks pretty firm so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start getting the chains in now boys once i have it bolted up i guess we'll go ahead and see what she do huh let me get on it there you have it perros got her locked up on the chains the height stayed good you know so she still locks up even which is player you know because who doesn't want to even lock up right you know what i'm saying man that's clean dude i think it's clean anyways the black that i painted looks stupid clean the rest of it i mean maybe if i polish it up or something you know i don't know but basically there you have it players you know what i'm saying locked up with the chains man now it's time to open my dump back up, you know what I mean, and let it do what it do. So, in theory, with the chains, we should stop putting so much pressure on our extended ball joints here. Um, the other side, like I said, hasn't broke on me yet. But if you watch the previous videos, we did uh, upgrade this old girl with some solid TIG welding. But yeah, as you can see, it's not even, it's not even maxing it anymore. So that's perfect, you know what I mean? And we have like just a little bit of clearance right there. These USA chains, you know what I mean? Tighter than a bitch. But that's the idea, you know what I mean? We're fucking fluid pressured up. Um, another thing I did is I adjusted our tie rod here on both sides just a little bit because it looked kind of towed out. Um, low key kind of still looks towed out. Kind of hard to tell, but... The other side looks slightly towed in, so hopefully it'll be even. You know what I mean? Actually, this side don't even look towed in, but 
it's like close you know this side looks kind of perfect but i'm gonna let the suspension settle and whatnot you know maybe take her for a little test drive see what's good with it but we're chained up now i wanted to kind of put like some heat shrink or something on the chain itself but we'll see how much noise it actually makes and whatnot um uh, but yeah so i mean there's our lock up now it's not i mean it's basically the same low key it still look good not too much of a difference but should be player should be player um gonna be getting it cleaned up got the cinco de mayo parade coming up as i stated before but for the most part you know she's ready for some testing you know maybe charge the bats up a little bit let me go ahead and shed her down for you got the hydros disconnected but the slowdown is still closed so she just dropped down real nice and firm like oh but yeah alignment wise definitely looks better low key it looks kind of towed in now or possibly perfect you know what i mean who knows um but hopefully that helps our tire wear maybe the car will drive slightly better not that it drives bad now but this side in my opinion is towed in now but our alignment kind of changes as you go through the different heights but this is how the chain just sits in there with it all the way down um on some ghetto stuff i might lock it up and just like wrap the chain with like electrical tape or something if it does make a lot of noise but i mean it shouldn't make too much noise unless like it's all the way down like that with all the slack in the chain but i mean how often does that happen you know what i mean but uh yes sir players we basically got her all chained up should no longer bust bjs but if it happens you know i don't know um i follow this page on facebook called lowrider problems and some guy had his car chained up and still busted a ball joint which is kind of weird but it wasn't even an extended one it was a regular ball joint but either way there she is players player players and uh yeah that's basically going to be it for this video i'll uh catch you guys in the next one got a couple more things on the old caprice but i may or may not in some insert some clips right here of me hopping it and if that's the case i'll probably put them at the beginning of the video anyways boys but like i said fresh out of work and on the way with some mo and i love it i'll catch y'all in the next one later